Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Would you like some? What do you think? This stuff's called Biltong. When was the last time you discovered a new snack? One that really blew your mind and no rediscovering that Christmas selection box at the back of your cupboard doesn't count. No, really, it doesn't count. Let me introduce you to Biltong. Biltong is a South African classic. It is air cured meat that is immersed in vinegar and Worcester sauce with spices. Biltong can be broken down into two parts. Bill, the Dutch word for rump or ass, and tong, the word for tongue. Example, the beef biltong so spicy my tongue is on fire. Traditional biltong is made of numerous spices, which is kosher salt, toasted ground coriander, cracked black pepper, sugar, dried red pepper, garlic, paprika, and this stuff is the business. Let me show you how to make it. You will need to have Biltong Spice, quarter cup Worcestershire sauce. Start with two cups of vinegar. Make sure that the meat is fully immersed. If you need to add more, add more. Add in the Worcestershire sauce and stir. So you may be wondering why we use vinegar. Vinegar is used for two things. One, it tenderizes the meat. The reason why you want to have the meat tender is that you want to break down the fats and all the other components within the meat structure. And the second is to make sure that it is preserved. Although that you are drying out the meat and you've got the spices, it is important to preserve the meat. Otherwise, your meat is going to be uh, rotten. Add in the meat into the liquid. Once you have all the meat into the liquid, you need to give it about 20 minutes for it to just sit and marinate. The meat is now ready to be taken out of the solution. So let's just move the solution to the side. We've put up a, another dish. I'm putting the meat onto a tray to make sure that the liquid can actually drip off the meat. So when we put on the spices, then we don't uh, have spices and liquid mixing together. And you can actually see how some of the fats has already started to break away from the uh, from the meat just from a few minutes in the uh, solution. Okay, so we're going to just start separating the meat a little bit that we can then get to add some spices. In the description, I will give you the details of the spice where you can buy spice. A little thing that I do, I've just taken a typical spice bottle and I've converted it to have my Biltong spice into the bottle. And it just makes it a little bit easier to have the spice sprinkled on the meat. Give it a good liberal coating. And then we need to just turn the meat over. And we repeat and do the same thing on the other side. So that's it guys, the entire preparation is all done and finished. Now all we got to do is put it onto the trays and get it into the uh, machine. At this stage, you want to make sure that you have a gap between each piece of meat. So just showing you over here, you don't want to have any of the meat touching because during this process of drying out, if any of the meat touches, it is there's no way possible for the uh, drying to take place between those pieces of meat. A little earlier, I told you why you don't want to have the meat at the bottom of the dish. Uh, just let me just show you here. You can actually see where there's been some of the liquid that has dropped down with the spice, and now it just becomes one big liquidy mush of liquid and spice combined, and that's going to remain wet on the meat for the entire time. So when you actually now have a tray to put the meat on, you are separating the meat from the liquid so the spice can actually stick to the meat 
So this is our dehydrator. So you can actually get to see the individual trays that are now done and prepped as what we had just finished off. So we're going to just close the door. And get everything going. So we select the dehydration. Make sure that the temperature is sitting at 90 degrees. And the time is going to go for 24 hours. This as a dehydrator. The difference between this and a conventional air dryer. One, you're able to control the temperature much better. Two, it's pretty much halves the time in the hydration process. So if you look at an air dryer, you're reliant on air temperature. When you live in a place like what we do from our high humidity, it becomes very difficult to dry meat correctly. Uh, insect perspective, right? You don't want to have flies and all the other good things to go with it. I mean, you've got to have large fans to make sure that nothing gets on top of it. Where this machine manages and takes care of everything so uh, we'll have our meat we'll come check it every couple of hours we are ready to check out the uh, built on let's get a look at it People ask me, is biltong and jerky the same thing? No, it is not. The only thing that is the same is the beef. That is it. The texture of jerky tends to be tough, dry, chewy, whereas biltong is more tender. It's crumbly. It's soft. The taste of jerky is smoky and steak-like, paper thin, while biltong has a slightly acidic taste from the vinegar, Worcestershire sauce and the spices. Biltong has a meaty taste. It is softer, more delicate. The texture is awesome. One of the reasons, look how thick it is, right? So when you think about beef jerky, beef jerky is paper thin. So when the moisture comes out of the meat, there's nothing left of it. With the meat from the thickness of the, of the biltong, you automatically have the softness and the, and the juice and the fat and the spices. And the vinegar with the Worcestershire sauce, everything works together. And it is just amazing. The delicate texture is just awesome. The traditional spice that we use in Biltong is kosher salt, toasted ground coriander, cracked black pepper, sugar, dried red pepper, garlic, paprika. All of those spices just work so well together. So I hope that this video has been informative. Give it a go, right? Don't be shy. It is really fun to make and the taste is just beyond incredible. And on that note, see you on the next one. Hey, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment, and catch you on the next one.